हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टीचर्स नेहा यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट इट्स दिवाली इट्स फेस्टिवल टाइम एंड व्हाट इज टीचर्स नेहा डूइंग हियर विद अनदर मैथ कॉन्सेप्ट ड्यूरिंग अ ब्रेक टाइम नो 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 इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट आई वाज एक्चुअली येस्टरडे मेकिंग अ रंगोली इन माई हाउस वेन आई जस्ट रियलाइज दैट दिस मेकिंग रंगोली ड्यूरिंग दिवाली ऑल्सो टीचर्स यू अ मैथमेटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट यू वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ You want to know how mathematics is related to celebrating our festivals and the traditions in our festivals? Let's have a look at it. But before I reveal how making rangoli is related to a concept in mathematics, I want to wish all my viewers a very happy and prosperous Diwali. I have made here a dotted grid of twelve by twelve, so twelve dots by twelve dots. and here on my door step i have made a grid of 4 by 27 dots because that much could fit over here and i have left some space to keep a dia aside and now let's see what patterns i'm going to make over here by connecting these dots i'm going to make a pattern of an octagon by connecting these dots the grid which i have made i have completely filled it with one shape only that's the octagon i have used it to fill up my entire grid so when we use one particular shape to fill up a grid or to fill up an area completely then that mathematical concept we call it as tessellating a shape so it's a same shape getting repeated after repeated If this grid would have been continued here on the either side, the same shape of octagon could have continued to tessellate even further. We see this pattern of tessellations not even only in rangoli, but we see them in our house tiles, uh, the floor tiles. I mean, the paper blocks. All these are using the patterns of this tessellations only, and even in rangoli during Diwali, we use the same concept of tessellations. So I am going to draw another pattern over here, another rangoli over here on this 12 by 12 grid. Okay. So now let's see how that design comes up. Okay. But to be very honest, I want to see that design, uh, the picture of that design. So I am going to use my tab. I am going to uh, see the picture, and then I am going to draw it over here. I have made a pattern of a dia here by connecting the dots. on the grid now this same pattern is going to continue in all four corners along with the design further so i'm going to complete this grid now and then we'll have a talk again I will make this design look more complete by drawing the squares inside the dots that are left over here in this grid so that it will look even more attractive after filling up the colors in it. Now the drawing part of my rangoli is done. I am done with my design. I have made it. Now comes my favorite part that's coloring of this design. and along with that dots for diwali and firecrackers go hand in hand we can't help it and now the extra dots that are there in this design i will just remove it with a with an old toothbrush and then i i'm going to just fill up colors in this entire design and then we will get back to you wow my entire design of rangoli is now ready i'm done with making rangoli coloring it everything is now ready 
I am also done with coloring the tessellating shape that I had done on the doorstep. Even that is done. While making the rangoli, I also realized that it's not only talking about tessellations, but it is also talking about two more mathematical concepts over here. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So the other two concepts are reflection and rotation. Now, how reflection and rotation comes over here? Let's have a closer look at it now. If you will see, this particular side of rangoli is an entire reflection of the other side and vice versa. You see any four sides, this side is a reflection, it's a diagonal reflection of the other side and similarly the other side also. So we see the shape reflecting also. So you can say the diagonal reflection or the x-axis, y-axis reflection. If you can draw a straight line of symmetry over here, even the left side is reflecting to the right side. So we see a concept of reflection also coming up here in Rangoli. Along with that you will see concept of rotation is also touched upon. How rotation is touched upon? Let's have a closer look. If I will see this particular shape gets rotated 90 degree clockwise then we land upon this shape. If this shape gets rotated 90 degree anti-clockwise we land upon this shape. And similarly, you can see all four corners are 90 degree clockwise as well as 90 degree anti-clockwise rotations of each other. So a simple act of making rangoli during Diwali is dealing with four different types of mathematical concepts over here. That is first we saw completing the pattern that is tessellations. Then it is also dealing with a concept of reflection, rotation and symmetry. So a simple act of making rangoli but yet it involves four mathematical concepts in it. I hope you found this connection between making rangoli and mathematics very interesting and mesmerizing. Now this part of this video I am going to talk to my teacher friends. You can use this uh, as an idea of introducing or teaching the concept of tessellations or reflections, rotations to your students in mathematics. So instead of that uh, routine drawing, graphing and plotting, if you can give them a set of rangoli, uh, dotted paper for rangoli and ask them to make any designs of their choice automatically, they will not only thoroughly enjoy the activity, through the activity, they will learn a lot of different concepts in mathematics also. So this making rangoli can also be used as a teaching idea or a teaching strategy. Try doing this in your class. I'm sure your students are going to love it. If you find this video very informative and helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And you are new on my channel, then don't forget to subscribe to it. Till then, bye bye. Wish you all a very happy Diwali once again.